Hey everybody, back again here. Um, I just want to show off here and explain what's getting ready to happen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build, try to build this entire DNA 200 mod uh, on here for you guys so you can check it out. Now, some of you might have seen, if you haven't, uh, you know, my original, uh, he showed all my Evolve devices I had, talked a little bit about the DNA 200, and I've been going back and forth deciding on buying one or building one or, you know, not really sure what to do, and to be honest, 200 watts really, you know, I don't vape that high. Uh, I'm completely satisfied with a DNA 40, I, you know, I'm around 25 to 35 watts all the time, so... You know, and the 3S LiPo, the way the way that works, you know, if, if you're a 100 watt plus vapor, having that 3S LiPo is going to be nice. It, and you know, your battery life will be comparable to using, you know, dual 18650s or, you know, having, say, like 900 milliamp hour 3S LiPo pack. You might be comparable to running, say, one eighteen six fifty at 2800 milliamp hour at that high rate but I don't vape that high so you know and, and I kind of prefer having a dual 18650 pull them out charge them switch them around if I need to or whatever the case so recently I had discovered that the DNA 200 now has an option to run off of two 18650s or a 2S LiPo which is 7.4 volts down at 130 watts okay so they updated their uh, eScribe software and that seems to be um, an option now. And I had a, a buddy of mine who has one already, has eScribe going. and I had him check it out yesterday for me, and absolutely is an option. So, through my, you know, through going through the internet, deciding on what to do, I came across this kit here on uh, ECF. Now, this is a pretty much a complete, complete kit. Uh, I feel like I got a great deal. I appreciate you know, if you come across this video, thank you very much. So what we got here is a uh, wooden box, completely customized, and and ready to go for a DNA 200. All right, now and it. So I got this 3D uh, printed sled. So like I said, we're gonna go with the dual 18650. That'll go in there. Okay. I'll put the cap on just so you can see what's going on here. Like I said, this is completely customized, see if you can see this. So that drops right in there. Alright, and we'll, I'll have the, the tap on there and you know everything obviously when we go to it. So that'll go in, then the little screen holder goes on, okay. Now it looks like I the switches were left off the package, but uh, we'll work on that, getting them. But uh, at least for now, we'll go over the parts and what I'm planning to do here. So you can see the screen will be in here. Fire, up and down, charge port. I mean, this thing, is, this is so sweet. I mean, it holds it perfectly tight. No movement. No glue. So I'm, I'm very impressed, very happy I came across this whole... Uh, Okay, here. So, like I said, we'll go through it. I did uh, plenty of research on, you know, how we need to make this happen. We still need to make the tap for the charge for the multi-cell charger. Uh, you know, I got that down. Show how we go through that to uh, set this up for 2s dual 18650, 2s lipo, whatever the case. We'll go 130 watts, which, in my opinion, is plenty. Absolutely plenty. All right. So uh, stay tuned, and hopefully in another day or two we'll start start soldering the board a little bit, putting some things on, put the tap on, solder up the tray, start getting everything put into this guy. It looks like it should be pretty quick, being uh, you know set up for it like this. So here we go.